Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Abby, aka Ladies Take Notes. And I've been gone for a while, but I'm back today with a beauty related video. Some of you may not know this, but I've spent quite a few years in the beauty industry. So I'd love to share some of my tips and tricks with you as well too. And today we're doing this fun summer look. If you would like to know how I got this look, then keep on watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get notified whenever I drop a video every Thursday. Don't forget to like as well and comment your favorite part of the video. Let's get into it. All right, so this should be you guys' first time seeing me without makeup. We're getting up close and personal. <laughs> the first thing I will be doing, of course, is priming my skin. And I'm gonna be priming using my favorite primer of all time. That is the Milk Hydro Grip. This guy just holds onto your foundation and does not let go all day. And it's helped with my oil control. It helps to smoothen things out. It's just, it's a staple in any makeup application. The next thing I'm going to be doing is setting that primer. This is so important if you have an oily T-zone like me, just to make sure that that contour, that nose contour, that foundation does not move all day. It's been years I've been doing this for and it has never failed me once. I'm going to be using my Derma Bless setting powder to set my face. So I'm literally just taking the powder, a damp beauty sponge and dip that in. I'm going to tap the excess off and then I'm going to go a step further and tap even more off on my hand so I'm not using too much. And then we're just going to pat it into everywhere that we get oily. I know we're looking a little ashy, but it's all good because we're going to be putting some foundation on top. But for now, this will no longer be a problem for the rest of the day with those two. So now we're going to be moving on to foundation. I like to mix my foundations to get number one, my shade, and number two, to get my perfect finish. I love my Demi Matte Finish, and so I'm going to be using two products. The first one is going to be the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I love this guy because again, it's clay. That's another thing that's going to be helping to suck in any oil throughout the day. Nobody's going to catch a slip in that one and then I'm gonna be using the NARS sheer glow foundation this guy is so beautiful it gives you again that sheer glow so putting the two of them together it's gonna be amazing so we are loving this full coverage so I'm just taking that beauty blender and making sure there are no streaks from the brush. And that right there is a flawless foundation application. So next up, I'm gonna do my brows. I'm just gonna do them off camera so I can focus and I will be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm now switching to a voiceover. Here I'm taking my YSL foundation stick and I'm gonna be using that to contour. It is my favorite contour product of all time because it blends like such a dream. We're gonna snatch that jawline and this is gonna remind people of what our jawline would look like if we ate right and our double chins were gone. Can I get an amen? I want you guys to pay close attention to how I blend out this contour. You're going to see three different ways. The first way that I'm using is a form of directional blending. It's a great way to blend out any product on your face with a brush. I'm using a nice dense brush by Morphe. And the next one you'll see me move into is also directional blending. The key is to move in one direction. And then you see me follow up by stippling to make sure that product stays in place and it offers more coverage on the product. 
you guys will see me use either one of those methods to blend out my jawline my forehead and even my nose this is something that works on all areas of the face and one thing I've gotten in the habit of doing is just taking my foundation brush with no extra product and using that to blend everything into the skin so it looks nice and natural. Next, I'm going to be taking my CoverGirl concealer and I'll be using that to highlight all the points of my face where I want to be emphasized and for the light to hit. So that's going to be underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my forehead, and my chin. Now I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm adding that directly underneath the eyes. I'm using this one because it's more of a neutral shade so it's going to brighten because it's a lighter shade but it's also going to neutralize that golden color that the concealer from CoverGirl is giving. Now ladies, I don't know how many times you've heard this, but you will probably hear it many, many more times. Blending is so important. Even though you see a sped up version, you may see a shorter video, but everybody has to take the time to blend out that concealer, that contour, that foundation. If you don't blend it well and then you set it, it will not look nice, it will look streaky, you may have to start again. So please take the time and blend. If you're late, when they see you, they'll get it. Next up, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Pressed Powder and I'm using that to set all the areas that I put concealer on. This is another step you're gonna wanna take your time with, ladies. And if you notice while watching, I don't actually bake. What I do is I like to press the powder into the skin and right after I will dust off any excess and the main reason I take this approach is so that my skin isn't left super dry to the point where you start to see patches form and instead what I do get is a flawless application because I'm just pressing in what the skin needs and taking the rest away you can use either a brush or a damp beauty blender I like to use a damp beauty blender and then go in with a round fluffy brush to remove any and all excess product. The brush I'm using is by Adonia Beauty and it has quickly become the only brush I turn to when it comes to removing excess product. I don't know what it is about this brush but it always gives me a flawless application every single time. I will leave a link to the brush in the description as well as a coupon code for you guys to get a discount off. Now I know y'all are thinking, sis, you're looking a little casket ready over there. So I'm using my Benefit Hula Toasted Bronzer to start bringing a little bit of warmth back into my face. And we're just gonna be taking that on the outer perimeter of the face just to warm it up a bit. Once again, I want y'all to pay attention to how the brush is moving when we blend in even a powdered product. You saw the directional blending, now you see the buffing. There was some stippling action there below. And again, I find myself using an Adonia Beauty. This is the bronzer brush. This is another staple in my brush collection. I use it every single day for applying bronzer. It just gives me a perfectly melted finish. Next up, we have the nose. We're just snatching it. Nothing too serious. I like to use a fluffy brush for this just because it gives a more natural look. Next up, I am contouring very lightly with my Sephora Pro Face Palette. This palette is a necessity if you are a woman of color. It has everything you need from the contour to the bronzer to the blush to the highlight. I stand and you should stand too. Pick up one of their ladies. All right, ladies, let's finally get into this eye look. I am taking this orange color to use as my transition shade and I'm picking it up from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume 2 collaboration palette. And one thing you'll notice I'm doing is I'm placing the eyeshadow before I go in and I blend. So I place 
by using tapping motions and then I blend it out by using those same circular buffing motions. So next I'm going in with this bright purple shade. I know it's a little scary but because of my melanin skin and the fact that I didn't use a lighter base I know it's going to get deeper which is why I used her and we're applying the same tap and buff motion. I'm now going in with this pigmented dark purple indigo shade and I'm using that to create and deepen that outer V and just create some depth with the eyeshadow. I'm taking my Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer to cut my crease and sometimes it's a good day, sometimes it's a bad day. I'm showing you an example of one of my bad days. I should have left it here. I really should have because then I kept trying to fix it and this right here is when I knew I messed up. Don't worry, it doesn't turn out totally horrible and I will show you, just keep on watching. In the meantime, I'm focusing on making sure that we have no harsh lines between the concealer and our deep crease color and so I'm gently buffing that into the concealer. Now I'm going in with a lighter purple shimmer shade and I'm going to make sure I blend those two purples together so we have little to no harsh lines. For the next shimmer color, I'm going in with an icy purple shadow topper. It's super beautiful and I absolutely love it. Next, I'm going in with a very similar eyeshadow topper only this one has a little bit of a green tint to it and it's also from the Amrezy ABH collaboration palette. Now I'm going in with this pop of blue and I absolutely love this because I never put a color like this in my inner corner. It's always the same shade as my highlight and so this is something fun and new and totally summer. This was also from the Amrezy palette. For my lower lash, I'm taking our deep crease purple and I'm using that closest to my waterline before smoking it out with the medium shade of purple and then finally going in with that transition color to smooth everything out. Finishing off my face, I'm gonna throw on some blush by Juvia's Place. I used these two shades. It was very pigmented in person so I just used some powder to tone it down. And I applied it a little bit everywhere because it's so beautiful. My favorite part of applying makeup is highlight. I'm using this one by House of Ropo. I absolutely love their highlighters. They are pigmented and super affordable. And I just basically highlight everywhere. My nose, Cupid's bow, cheek, forehead, chin everywhere because glowing is extremely important to me it is literally the icing on the cake love it from this moment here i am just drenching my skin in some morphe setting mist this is literally bottle number five or six i live for this setting spray i don't think i'm ever gonna change it unless something better comes out it's amazing and then just look at that finished product awesome but we're not done yet if you mess up your lashes the first time, have no fear. Eyeliner is here. I'm using the Huda Beauty eyeliner to create a wing for each eye to hide that messy lash glue. I'm using the Lily Lashes in the Style Miami, my favorite lashes of all time. And look how the look just comes together with these lashes. Absolutely gorgeous. We love to see it. After lining my lips, I'm taking this L'Oreal nude lipstick to apply and to give my lips a nice ombre nude effect to mimic my natural lips. Alright guys, this is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed it. I love how this turned out. I think it's it's just something that I don't usually do. I don't usually pop anything other than my highlight shade in my inner corner. So this was super fun to do. A nice change of pace. I think I might experiment with a few more colorful looks before summer is out. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. 
Don't forget to comment if you like this look and if you're gonna do it at home too. And make sure you share if you care. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.